Hi, I'm Kara. I currently live in New Orleans, Louisiana, where I've lived for the past year. Um, and over that year, I've really grown to love the culture in New Orleans, especially the food. And one of the things that is big in New Orleans is red beans and rice. There's many different recipes and styles that you can do. So if yours is a little different, then bear with us because we've used a lot of tips from all of my friends that are locals. So some of my friends who were born and raised in New Orleans recommend using a, a Cajun um, spice that's like already put together. But today we're just going to break it down into the spices. So we have two teaspoons of dried oregano leaves, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of um, thyme, two teaspoons of salt, and then one teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then we're also going to be using five bay leaves. So we're using four stalks of celery, two medium onions, which have been chopped already, one green bell, bell pepper, and five or six cloves of garlic. Traditionally, you use real sausage, but today, since we are vegetarians, we will be using the fake stuff, but it's just as tasty. So this is a, the vegan sausage. It's the Tofurky brand. Um, it's really just made of tofu, but there's other brands, there's other types. Also, meat lovers do like this one because it's seasoned really nicely and it's tasty. It has a blend of fresh onion and garlic. Here's our main ingredient, which is the red beans. We, um, for red beans and rice, you want to buy them in a dry bag. So it's the bag and it's just dried beans. And if they're hard, it's kind of like what you would use to make like a rainmaker. Um, but don't worry because you soak them and that's how they become the tasty red beans that you eat. Um, traditionally in New Orleans, people made these on Mondays because that was laundry day. So you would soak them early in the morning, let them soak all day. And then in the evening, once your laundry is done, you would just put them on the stove and you'd be good to go. We soaked ours for about four to five hours today. Okay. So once your beans have soaked for however many hours you choose, you're going to drain them. But when you drain them, make sure you keep the water because we're going to use that for when you're putting them in with all the other ingredients. That's just going to add a little bit more flavor. So red beans and rice is an easy dish to make in the sense that you only need a few ingredients, that kind of thing, but it's a time commitment. So you, make, you have to make sure you have enough hours to soak the beans. Um, the longer you soak, the more flavor and the different the texture is going to be of the beans once it's fin finally finished. Um, we only committed about five hours today, but it's up to you how long you want to let them soak. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of canola oil along with my garlic and my sausage. When you're using real sausage, this is where you really want to make sure that you cook the sausage all the way through. Since we're using veggie sausage, it's not as important, but we definitely want that to be cooked. So I'm going to add a, the cup, or the one bell pepper, green bell pepper. As well as the four celery stalks that we cut up. And the two onions. So we're just going to stir this until the veggies start to cook and soften up and then we're going to add the other ingredients. Alright, so now we're going to add our spices, which is the last big ingredient until our red beans. Um, thankfully, I've already measured them out, so this is going to be quick. So remember how we drained the beans and we kept the water? We are going to now add four cups of that water to our mix of veggies and spices and our vegetarian meat. So once you've stirred your veggies and spices for about 10 to 15 minutes, you're going to add the beans. And once the beans are in, you're going to jack up the heat to a boil or to high so that you can get a boil. The minute it starts to boil, you're going to bring it back down to a simmer, and that's where it's going to sit for about two hours. So hopefully you have something to do in those two hours. If I was home right now, I would bike down to the park and ride my bike or go to the fly and look at the Mississippi River. So it's been two hours, and now the red beans are ready to be served with rice. So I'm going to make a plate for Hannah. 
I just use white rice and then the red beans will just go on top. And remember those bay leaves that we put in? You're not supposed to eat those, but you can put them on there for decoration. Which hot sauce did you get? Crystal. Thanks for watching. Ours turned out really well. I hope yours did too. Tune in next week for more episodes with Food with Dottie. <laughs> Keep that part. Mi vida es locura, es tranquila, es bonita, mi amor.